Hi, and welcome to part three of this video series about paraphrasing. In part one, I talked to you about what paraphrasing is and how to avoid plagiarism. Parts two and three are about how to paraphrase. There are two methods. In part two, I talked to you about substitution. And in this one, I'm going to talk to you about writing from your memory. Try them both, see what works for you. Method number two, writing from your memory. Here are the steps for paraphrasing. First step, this is similar to substitution. Read the text until you understand it well. Make sure you understand. This is just the same. You need to read and understand whatever you're paraphrasing. But here's the difference. When you're finished reading and you understand it, put the text away. Don't look at the source. Close your book, close your laptop screen, turn off your screen on your computer, close your article, whatever you're looking at, don't look at it. Now, using your memory, write the main ideas and keywords. Don't write the language you remember, write the ideas you remember. Step three, using your own words, write about those main ideas. Write some sentences. Right now you're paraphrasing, but without looking at the source, still not looking at the source. Step four, you're finished writing your paraphrase, open the source and read it again to make sure you have the important information. Also check to make sure it's not the same as you're writing. So let's look at this. Reading and understanding, step one, here's my source paragraph. I need to read it and understand it well. Dolphins are amazing animals. They are similar to humans in some ways. They can learn to work in teams and they sometimes even work together with fishermen. They communicate with each other using a system of sounds and body language. Young dolphins like to play games. Dolphins are very smart animals. People should protect dolphins so they don't become extinct. Okay, I've read it. I understand it. It's in my memory. Step two, I'm going to close my source. We can't see it now. I'm going to write my main ideas. I remember that they're similar to humans. They use teamwork, something about hunting with fishermen, uh, something about communicating with sounds and body language, playing, um, they're intelligent, and protecting them against extinction. Okay, here are my main ideas. I've got them in my notes now. Okay, first main point, similar to humans. I'm going to make a sentence. I'm not looking at my source. I'm writing a sentence about this. There are many similarities between dolphins and people. That's from my note, similar to humans. Okay, next bit teamwork. Dolphins work in teams. Okay. Next idea, hunting with fishermen. Sometimes they help fishermen to hunt. Next main point, sounds and body language. They don't talk, but they use sounds and body language to communicate. Play, they like to play and they are intelligent. Play and intelligent. Okay, those are my main points. And then the last one, protecting against extinction. We must protect dolphins from extinction. Okay, so here is my paraphrase. My next step is I need to compare this with the source to make sure that I have all the ideas, but it's not too similar. Now for the last step, number four, comparing your writing with the source. Here's my version. Here's the source version. You can see that my version is shorter. It's a little simpler. Let's see if it has the same information. There are many similarities between dolphins and people. Mm, similar humans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dolphins work in teams. Learn to work in teams. Yep, that looks good. Help fishermen to hunt. They sometimes even work together with fishermen. Okay, looks good. They use body language and sounds to communicate. Uh, communicate sounds, body language. Yep. They like to play, they're intelligent, play games, smart animals. Mm-hmm, looks good so far. Last one, we must protect dolphins from extinction and people should protect dolphins so they don't become extinct. Yeah, all the information is there. But as you can see, my version is very different from the source. It's shorter and it's simpler. And that means I probably understood it really well. So the final result for this method, writing from your memory, is that this gives the best results. You can see that my version is very different from the source. Using the write from your memory method, we have a paraphrased paragraph with the same information, but written in a way that we understand better. It also shows our teachers that we understand the idea as well. So that's good for you and for your marks. 
In addition, it's good practice for your English. You're learning to say the same thing in different ways and put your ideas you learned into English. That's excellent practice for your English. So good luck with your paraphrasing. You can use the substitution method, you can use write from your memory method, or you can even use a combination of both of those. But make sure you do that paraphrasing so you don't get accused of plagiarism or copying or cheating. This is great practice for your English. I hope you do a great job of paraphrasing. Good luck.